I could not help myself. I had to go to Publix and get all the things. And I just made a whole ginormous bowl of the guacamole Mexicano. Mm. This is going to be in heaven for sure. No doubt about it. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients here. I've got some avocados. Um, I had hoped to get regular sized avocados, but none of them were ripe at my store today. So I ended up with all of these little mini ones. That's okay because we we'll just have to use more of them. A couple of lime, um, probably only going to need one, but I got two just in case. And then I was feeling a little bit lazy, so I went ahead and got these tomatoes already diced up. An onion, I could have gotten a diced onion as well, but they only had red onions and I didn't want a red onion. And then I got some cilantro, which I just washed and it's nice and clean. Um, I've got a glass bowl here because um, we wanna mix it in a glass bowl and um, no metal or anything like that. You could put it in plastic, but I like to use a glass one. So let's go ahead and get to chopping. I'm just gonna make a small serving because I'm the only one that's gonna be eating this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these avocados, move some of this stuff out of the way. Now everybody has their own way of cutting an avocado, but this is, the way I like to do it. Um, I like to go ahead and cut it and then kind of peel it. I want to go ahead and chop up some of this cilantro and get all of my other ingredients in there. So I'm just gonna take some of this I don't need too much of it, just enough to give it some flavor. Toss that in there. And I'm gonna pop these tomatoes that I got already cut up. Probably not gonna use all of them, but. Probably about half of those. If you like hot stuff, I imagine that you probably could put some jalapenos in this, but I'm kind of staying away from jalapenos right now. And if you uh, saw my public service announcement or my recent jalapeno poppy popper video about my jalapeno hands, you might understand why. But hey, some like them, some like it hot. You do you. Whatever you want to do in the kitchen is your business, not mine. But I'm going to put that's about half an onion. I think I'm going to do a little bit more because I like onions a lot. I like to take the lime and kind of roll it first to just kind of loosen it up probably has a name, but you know, this is my make-believe cooking show and I can call it whatever I want. And I don't know the name of it, so I'm just gonna do what we do. Now, all that deliciousness is in there and I am just gonna squeeze this lime over it and let all this juice go down in it. Mm. Smells divine. I cannot wait to dive into this. Oh my gosh. It smells absolutely delicious. Now, one thing that I like to do is either use a wooden 
or a plastic spoon when I make salsa or um, guacamole or anything like that. So before I mix this up, I'm going to go wash my hands off because I've got a bit of a mess here. And then we're going to mix all this up and then we're going to taste it. Okay. So my hands are all nice and clean now. Again, and I'm gonna grab this little wooden spoon here and just start mixing. Now, in my mind, this wasn't gonna make very much, but evidently I made a lot more than I thought I was going to make. So we probably won't eat all of this tonight. That's a good thing because that means I have more to eat tomorrow. And if you want it to stay nice and fresh without browning, then when you cover it up, you're going to want to put saran wrap or some kind of plastic wrap over it as close to the dip as possible. So, you know, you want to get it down there so that as little air as possible gets in it. Now I'm going to grab some of those awesome chips I bought this morning and we're going to give this a taste. So let me turn the camera up here. Mm. This is going to be in heaven for sure. No doubt about it. Mm. 